Hi everybody, how's it going? Let me give you a tour of my 1972 13 foot Bell travel trailer. I'll show you what it can do. So guys, I got a battery for electricity and you know, I think I talked to you about this before, I got the propane tanks and uh, but I really like this battery for power because most of the time I'm going to be parked out away from uh, civilization, you know, or even if I'm in town, I don't want to. I don't want to pay to camp, so that's that's really cool. Um, for the for power hookup, AC power hookup, I got that cord right there. You can see someone cut it off, and uh, I don't know why cut the end of the the plug off of it but I don't care I don't need it as long as I got the battery power that's great um, yeah one of the only things I had to do was replace the knob uh, the guy lost the key for it so it works really good the one I just put on, it's just like a regular household doorknob, outside doorknob. Let's go inside. So yeah, I got the propane range there. That works good, all the burners. Um, I got this water faucet pump. That thing works good. And I got the... Uh, regular water hookup from like if you're at an RV park but yeah let me show you this tank here I got underneath so there's the tank and uh, you can see it's cracked but it it still holds water and it's got like a you guys all know about them they got the drain plug that you can let the water out so it doesn't freeze but it looks like somebody in the past didn't do that I can always get a new tank. So uh, let's try the stereo system that the guy, this car stereo that the guy installed on the trailer. Lungs in a row for Jack FM? Yeah, neither do we. Cool. That runs off of the battery. Speakers are right there. On both sides. Okay, let's try this kitchen light that's over the range so I can see when I'm cooking. Cool. Maybe that works. So, yeah, like I said, the furnace works really good. Man, you have to, uh, it's, I should be able to stay in here even in temperatures like, you know, minus 10, easy. Refrigerator, I haven't tried that yet. It probably works, I believe the guy, because everything else seems to be working. Oh yeah, and I got a fire fire extinguisher. I really cleaned it up. You know, aired everything out. Um, you know, used uh, bleach and water on the floors, disinfected everything. So this place is ready for me. And all these cabinet doors work. Everything's nice and clean pretty much for me. I didn't have to do, I didn't have to work hard, you know. Little dresser right there. Table. Yeah, and the guy also threw in this propane light. I'm not going to use that much. Why buy all those bottles, you know? You'd have to, I don't know how long it lasts, but I, I like candles. Bed up there. Demonstrate that in a few seconds. So, 
yeah everything is pretty you can see there was some water damage it did leak the roof leaked for a while probably like for over a year and the guy just left it and then finally decided to do something about it you can see over there on the corners but it doesn't leak now so that's what's important and the, da the damage is not too bad like I can if I really want to I can fix it myself All right guys, let me climb up here and show you how this bed works. It's pretty solid. Should hold my weight no problem. And this thing that I'm going to stand on, the dresser is really solid too. So it's just kind of a pain, you know, if you're if you're a big guy, it's going to be hard for you. You're probably better off just putting this table down that goes into a bed. You know, it goes across on those benches there and, and then you put the cushions on top. But I'd rather sleep up here. This is uh, a lot warmer and it just gives me more room. Kaboom! <laughs> All right! So yeah, man, with that furnace going and everything, it'll be super warm in here. I probably won't even have to uh, use it that much, you know. I'll, I'll probably turn it on for like an hour or something before I go to bed and turn it off. And then uh, when I get up like three, at, 3 in the morning or something to go to the bathroom, you know, about two hours before it gets lighter, I'll turn it, turn it on again. Just to warm it up, but I won't have to have it going all the time because it, it'll be pretty warm up here. Especially if you got like a hot water bottle or something with you. Yeah, it's really nice. I can't wait to sleep up here and listen to the rain. Right. <laughs> yeah, babe. So yeah, for fifteen hundred bucks, not bad. You know, it's surprising that can't go wrong. Everything seems to work. Faucets work. Cooking stove works. Furnace works. Um, you know, the battery power works. The lights that works cool. And like I say, I'm not going to have that on much. Probably just uh, when I'm cooking or something, you know, probably for about a half hour each time. And then just light a candle. Uh, I like the candle light better. It's softer, you know, and it's, it's dimmer and darker in here so nobody can see inside. Um, so that's really cool. That vent, yeah, I'll have to show you that vent. This is really important to have a vent. I'm so glad it doesn't have air conditioning. I, this is so great. I just like the air vent on the roof. To let all the warm, hot air out. Let me show you this. Watch out for noise. Every time I touch this little camera, it's so noisy. See that? That's really cool. You can just, you know, probably need some oil. It's a little bit stiff, but it works really good. Make sure you oil that up. Yeah, so it's got this, whoop, I think that screws on in there. Yep. It's got this storage compartments like they all do under the benches, you know, where you could store your tools, your extension cords, and 
your jacks and stuff like that. Anything else? Like I told you, the sliding windows. It's really cool. They snap shut and lock. Gotta clean them up a little bit yet. Refrigerator. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, probably not. You know, I'll probably just uh, put a little cooler in there, you know, for just, uh, you know, those coolers that you take camping, picnicking and stuff like that. Just put some ice in there and throw it in there. So um, most of these running lights work, you know, a couple of them are burnt out or something. Maybe I just have to, uh, sometimes you open up that cap, you know, and you just wiggle them around or spray some WD-40 on them or something like that just to get, the, get them working again. See that bar up there going across up on top right there there's another one that's for uh, if you want to haul a canoe or kayak or something up there like that all right guys that's about it all I had to do was get a new tire for it and uh, turn the other one around because the white wall put the white wall on the inside so you got matching tires and grease the bearings and get a doorknob so I'm, I'm really happy about that I didn't have to put much into it it's just right now it's I'm ready to rock and roll all right thanks for watching see you next time all right